In this video, you are going to see a MacBook Air M1 versus Windows Gaming Laptop comparison testing video background removal in After Effects. As you can see, this is the video we are working on and the resolution is the same on both systems. It's a 1080p clip 12 seconds long. I'm using the Roto Brush tool to select the subject. Meanwhile, here are the specifications of the Windows laptop I'm using. This laptop runs on an Intel Core i7-9750H processor with a maximum TDP of 45 watts. For the RAM, I'm using 32GB DDR4 split evenly across two slots. The graphic card here is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 with a maximum TDP of 50 watts. It has 4GB of GDDR6 VRAM. Now that the selection is done and I'm showing you the timer for transparency. I started removing the background for the both clips at the same time. On Windows, I enabled the cooler booster mode which means the fans runs at maximum speed to pump out the heat. When it comes to the MacBook Air, it's completely fanless, no internal fans at all. By the way, here are the specs of the MacBook Air. It comes with M1 chip paired with 8GB RAM and 512GB SSD storage. The SSD is faster on the Mac compared to the Windows laptop. Surprisingly, even without fans, the Mac completed the task in 1 minute and 28 seconds. That's really impressive even with no fans. It finished that fast. As for the Windows laptop, it completed in 1 minute and 48 seconds. Not a huge gap here, but keep in mind, this was just a 12 second clip. If you try with a longer video, the results will change due to thermal throttling on the MacBook. That means once it reaches higher temperatures, the processor's performance drops to control the heat. However, that's not the case with the MacBook Pro series as they come with built-in fans for better cooling. So for short-term video edits, yes, the MacBook Air handles things pretty well, but if you're someone who edit videos daily as a job, then I'd recommend going for the pro model MacBooks. That's it for this video. Comment your thoughts about this test and the MacBook performance. See you again in the next one.